Now, ABC6 News at 5, on your side. Now, AEP working to restore power to thousands of people in the metro who lost it to, over the afternoon storms. 45 miles to the north, though, future linemen spent the day learning the trade in a brand new way. ABC6's Tom Bosco, live in Mount Gilead, with their story. Tom? Yeah, Bob, it's been a busy afternoon with trees and wires and lines down all over central Ohio. The next time someone comes to fix your lines, there's a chance they may have gotten their training right here at this brand new facility. When the storms come and blow down trees and wires, someone has to turn the lights back on. These are the guys that they get called when the lights go out. It was weird. Uh, kind of scary at first. Taylor Harris is training to be that guy. He checks his utility pole for deterioration before scurrying up to take a look. Not too hard. Just like riding a bike. Once you do it, you're kind of used to it. You don't think about it too much. Just kind of get in the zone and you want to focus on getting the job done. When you're climbing, you focus on looking up so you don't really notice how far you all fall on the ground until you get up there. Now he'll get to train indoors. It's hard to get a guy to focus in and truly learn what you're getting to learn when they're outside cold. The Ohio Rural Cooperatives just opened a new training facility, which includes 35-foot-tall utility poles indoors to simulate the real world. Mistakes are inevitable. People are going to make mistakes. Out there, mistakes could cost workers their lives. In here, it's a safe place to practice. What this facility is going to allow us to do is allow them to make the mistakes here. Taylor Harris is near the end of a four-year apprenticeship. He's going to work with the co-op in Wayne County, where he'll climb poles there to keep the juice flowing. Hope to be a long career. Now, this facility is to train those apprentices who are working for Ohio's Rural Electric Cooperatives. There are 24 of those in the state. They serve about 400,000 customers. They're in 77 of Ohio's 88 counties. Now, in four years, those apprentices do about 600 hours of training here, along with 80,000 hours on the job. Reporting live in Mount Gilead, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC6 News.